Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? Listen, I got this idea to put this video together because I have been making some videos that have a subject matter that some of you might not be interested in, so you don't click on, but I put really cool tips in everything that I do. And I got to thinking, you know, and watching some stuff gets more hits than others. So, you know, I watch the telemetry on every video. And I noticed not a lot of people were watching my unbuild Porsche 911, which I don't know why. It's fantastic if you didn't watch that but you build race cars I showed some tips on there that will help you out in other types of race car type builds or just model cars that might have race car stuff on them I threw this kind of together of just the tips I did on that video and then I also added one more from a video that I put out a while ago but it's a series that I kind of stopped working on, so I pulled the video, but I had a really good tip on doing tire lettering. It's just a combination of a bunch of little tips that I think you guys will like, so check it out. Tell me what you think. If you don't like it, if you want me to stop doing this, well, tell me. Put it down in the comments below. I read everything, All right? But let's just get in with it, and you'll probably like this. roll bar padding this roll bar padding is uh, I can even give you a little quick tutorial with some photos I'll just do a slideshow but basically how that's all done is that's heat shrink I would take a piece of aluminum tubing that's about the same diameter as whatever roll cage I'm wanting to cover I'd slide heat shrink over it I'd heat it up with either a lighter or a heat gun whatever you have that would heat up heat shrink and let it shrink up to the tubing if I needed to bend it a little to have like bends, like I would bend the tubing a little bit so the heat shrink would kind of bend. Before I would take the heat shrink off of the tubing and before the heat shrink cools down, I would take the back of a X-Acto blade and uh, just kind of roll it and run over and it would make these indentions here of where the straps would be. Doing the heating up, it would make it a little more puffier looking. It would fit the roll cage perfect. And then to take it off, just put a slice in it, pull it off the tubing. Then it would just clip right onto the roll bar. And then I would take some more of that Detail Masters detail wire, whatever color you want, to simulate zip ties. And I would uh, just put the zip tie around and twist it up and flip it over and kind of cut it. And it would look like, like a zip tie. That's how I would get that look. What do you think? And we'll just let you have another little gander at that whole chassis right there. Let's see if we can get around there so you get a good look at all my little detail wiring. I just took the small little wiring you get from Detail Masters. They have detail wiring. I love that stuff. I get multiple colors and I can make little looms and stuff like that. I think it gives a great look. Um, where the pedals are and the floor, you see that silver right there? That's to look like Dynamat or something like that. Basically, uh, heat insulation. I used uh, the foil out of a Marlboro cigarettes. That, I got to give that credit to Clay Kemp. He did that years ago on a uh, model race car. And I thought it looked so cool. And I was a smoker. I just kept that. And when I'd find different colors, I'd keep that stuff. So if you know a smoker, if you're not a smoker, uh, ask them for their cigarette boxes when they're done because especially they smoke marbles it's kind of like the, the best looking foil paper inside there and you want to want to stock that stuff up dashboard and everything that's right out of the 933 gt2 kit so let's take a look at the dashboard if we can uh, get a good angle there you can see right there i just kind of uh, hand painted all the gauges and then i dropped a little bit of clear in there just so it looks like there's a lens over them and did whatever needed to be do with switches with silver or a little red right there because that's the startup switch and uh, a little uh, Momo steering wheel right there that came in the 993 kit you see that shifter right there that's just a piece of wire I used the shifter out of the kit and just added wire right here to make more like a just a rod make it look a little uh, a little more race car -y. These flares have been heavily reworked, and I'll show you some pictures of what I did with them. But there's a lot of reworking right here to get these wider. It's, it's a lot wider than stock.
So I'm going to go ahead and put our decals on here of our lettering. And uh, I'll show you the little tricks I do to make it look as best as you can. And look real and kind of like been on the car and a little used. I might do these big Hoosiers right there. The bigger ones. You have like big Hoosiers. Uh, there's like B2 of them. One there, one there. On a lot of these super stock cars. Let's go ahead and get working on that. I'm going to go ahead and cut a couple of these out. There we go with the first set of uh, set for a tire. So it's kind of big and uh, that's what a lot of the Hoosiers do. We'll put one on the top and one on the bottom. Let's get those all soaked up wet. We're going to get our mark fit right here. All right. Let's see if they're getting ready to slide off. Hopefully we don't got any cracking. Nope, looks good. All right, so I'm going to put them in just for a couple more seconds here. And now I think we're pretty much ready. So let's just take them out of the water. Oops. Push that off to the side. I'm going to lay them right there. And we'll start with a little bit of this mark fit. I'm going to just coat where I want to put the first one. Let's slide it off. Get a little off the edge there and just kind of pull it off. There we go. Let's get to where it it fits right there you go it looks it's fairly that's the problem sometimes the they kind of generically make them round to fit all different size tires and it's not exactly fitting the shape so we'll get to go there somewhat look reasonable right about there we'll take a little bit more of this mark fit put it on top we're gonna let this sit for a little bit I've let it sit there it's softened up a bit I'm just gonna take cotton t-shirts I always have at my bench I just want to it's still moving around but I'm gonna dab it up a bit I'm probably gonna have to readjust it's still there but you can see it's it's taking the contour pretty good and even when they get a little softened up you can even reshape them a bit just try to directly press down on it and we're pretty much there now it's kind of uh yeah you know you can see how it's a little bit more shinier because of you know it's a decal we're gonna we're gonna chill that all out here shortly let me put the other one on these are usually stenciled on on the real tires and they're not decals or printed on they're actually just with a stencil and some spray paint i'm going to show you how we're going to get it to have that look it's looking good i'm going to go ahead and do the other tire then we'll move on in the next step we're going to get it to get it to look real i let the decals dry I'm shaking up my TS-80 flat clear from Tamiya, and I'm just gonna shoot some flat clear on here. Let's get this rolling. There we go. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and do a neat little trick that just kind of softens the whole blast in your face white. As they run them down the drag strip, they get a little darkened up and yellowed. We're gonna just give it a little trick to make it look a little more realistic. So I set my airbrush up and I Put some just flat black, um, really, really thin, super thin out. I just want it to be slight. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to slightly mist, just slightly around there. See how it kind of just darkens it up a bit. Just slightly, just a little bit. We're just gonna kill some of that heavy whiteness just with a light light coat so there you can see the difference between the two be a good close look it just you know knocks the edge off gives it a little bit of a more worn look you can even play with it more heck you could put a little more on there if you want but the trick is you want the black to be very thin so it's almost like a translucent because we don't want to cover that up 
There we go. Let's see how that dries. I might hit just a little bit more there. Let's let it dry and take a look at what it looks like. All right, so there you have it. You got it toned down a bit. It just looks like, looks a little more realistic, at least in my opinion. Hmm. So that's how it's done. Oh, geez. Well, I don't mean to be rude and eat in front of you. I was just kicking back, eating a cold slice of pizza. I don't have any cold coffee to go with this cold slice of pizza, but I got some cold, uh, you know, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, whatever it is. Mm. Wash it down. Didn't mean to be rude, but I was just enjoying myself watching how, how that's all done. Glad I watched this. Now I know. Now I can do this. That's what I hope. I hope you are all thinking. Did you learn something? I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a bunch for watching. I just thought I'd throw this together with you. I just had a feeling you guys are blowing off some of the videos because you don't think it's a subject you might be interested in. Well, look at that. There's something there you might have learned that you want to learn. If you go, oh, I'm not into Porsches, so I'm not going to watch that. But then I didn't learn nothing because I didn't watch it. Because if you don't watch a Lucas C video, a model car hobby headquarters video, a Lucas builds video, a Lucas kits video, or whatever other kind of video put out on this channel, then you're not going to learn. And if you don't learn, then then you don't learn. And we want to, you know, gather all the tips we can, right? You know, that's about all I got to say about it. So thanks a bunch for watching. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, having a good time, been getting tons of. Uh, People making comments down below. I've been reading all the comments. Wow, I tell you, it is really cool to hear that all you guys like what I'm doing and even you guys that don't like what I do and tell me that I'm a darn fool. That's great too. I like that too. Got no problem with it. But I'm gonna keep on doing what I do and bringing it to you. I wanna thank these guys here for supporting on my Patreon. These are the producers. Thanks, producers. You guys are great. I want to thank you guys who've been buying merch. What is that? A Teespring store. You go over to the Teespring store. There's, you know, down below. You got to connect to it there. Head on over there and you can buy all the shirts and the things and the stuffs and the mugs and the shirts and whatever's, whatever we got there. I want to thank all the comments. I want to thank all the ideas get thrown my way. I want to thank all you guys for liking what we're doing here on the Lucas C channel because we're having a lot of fun and we're going to keep on doing it. I don't care what you say, I'm, we're just not going to stop. It's not happening. There's no way. You, you can't stop us. We're going to keep going. So thanks a bunch. Hope you enjoyed it. And you know what I always say, this is me, Lucas C. Keep gluing those fingers together and keep on cutting that styrene. And we will see you in the next video. And in one, two, trace, quat, um, I don't know after that, seven, but my unbuild, um, or unbuilt or unfinished, whatever that series is called, um, got an itch, sorry, uh, The next video is coming. The next time, I, next time we put it out. Holy mackerel!